Put a finger down if you've been kidnapped in the middle of the night by two large men who asked you if you wanted to go the easy way or the hard way. Put a finger down if you have severe nightmares from the trauma you experienced while attending the program. Put a finger down if you were cut off from communicating with the outside world and stripped of all of your human rights. Put a finger down if you feel like your childhood and teenage years were taken away from you. Put down a finger if you have major trust issues because of what they put you through. Put down a finger if you were force-fed medication without knowing what it was. Put down a finger if you were physically, emotionally, verbally, and sexually assaulted while you were there. Put a finger down if you've witnessed other kids be emotionally, verbally, physically, and sexually assaulted by staff. Put a finger down if you were put into solitary confinement. Put a finger down if you're not afraid to use your voice and let the world know that you're a survivor and you're not gonna stop until these schools are shut down. I see you survivors, breaking code silence. Let's do this. Paris Hilton is telling a harrowing story of time spent at a boarding school for troubled teens. She says she still has nightmares. We brought together a group of other former students who back up Paris's claims. They spoke with Anne Mercagliano. Woman I am. Paris Hilton's claim that she was like abused at her boarding so school is ringing true me. to all these people. Raise your hand if you'd call yourself a survivor of abuse. Wow. I spoke to 13 former students yeah. who, like Paris, attended the controversial boarding school when they were in their teens or even younger. I was put in a solitary confinement the first day I was there. I remember hearing screams through the vents trying to study at night. I know that every time I speak of it, it hurts. In the new documentary about her life, Paris she talks about the discipline she says was imposed by staff at Provo Canyon School in Utah, a facility for troubled young people. Solitary confinement, like something out of one flew over the cuckoo's nest. They'd make people take their clothes off and go in there like for 20 hours. I was just freezing, I was starving. She also spoke about her experiences on Drew Barrymore's new talk show. Did anything about it fix something for you? All it did was give me trust issues, post-traumatic stress disorder. I didn't deserve to go there. Hey. Catherine McNamara says she attended the school in the late 90s with Paris Hilton and was also placed in solitary confinement. It's cold, you have to take your bra and like your socks and everything off that, um, except for like, they let me have like a, a very thin t-shirt and, and shorts. The uh, AC is blowing in there all the time, so it's make, it makes, it's to purposely make it uncomfortably cold. Sarah Stevenson says she was punished for being too sarcastic. I was deprived of any human contact or conversation for about 45 days. Paris, known as the flighty heiress turned savvy businesswoman, has now taken on a new role of crusader as she speaks out about boarding schools that deal with troubled teens and the abuse she says takes place there. Do you think that abuse still happens at schools like these? Absolutely. Oh, yeah.